Yeah, you know, we are worried about um, uh, hunting in, in general is on a downturn, uh, you know, in the United States in general. And that's something that's not happening in Oklahoma yet. We're, we're very steady. We're very proud of that. But we're also very aware of what's going on uh, nationwide. And we want to make sure that the hunting and fishing traditions remain strong in Oklahoma. So, so we're doing a lot of different things to make sure that that, that, uh, that sense of community, uh, that sense of tradition uh, remains strong. Part of it is just people don't live as close to the land as they used to. You know, many people used to live on a, on a family farm. If they didn't live on a family farm, they, they knew someone did it, a grandpa, an uncle, an aunt, something like that. And, and also, uh, hunting and fishing saw a particular boom during the baby, baby boom generation. Um, and as those folks get older and cycle out of hunting and fishing and go on to do different things, uh, and many young people aren't hunting and fishing as, as, as we want. So we want to encourage folks who are older to, to take someone with them. You know, we know that, that the, the State Department of Wildlife we don't make hunters, it's a hunter is what makes a hunter. As we take a look at this rack here, we're gonna determine just the number of scorable points. Oklahoma's a leader when it comes to R3. R3 is recruitment, retention, and reactivation. And that's of hunters and anglers. So we, so we want to, to make sure that, that new hunters and anglers are being recruited. We wanna retain the ones that we already have. And we wanna reactivate those ones who, who maybe hunted when they were kids or hunted years ago before they got busy with careers and family. We want to get them out there active again. And, and so we're doing a number of things. One of the, the biggest things we're doing is uh, our school programs. We have our archery in the schools program, uh, uh, scholastic shooting programs, and even fishing in the schools program. So we're, we're trying to, to do our part to, to light a spark uh, um, among those kids. You know, we know we can't, as department employees, we can't take everybody hunting, but we want to create that, that spark and desire uh, and remove any barriers uh, that are present present hunting. So, in Oklahoma, we have about 1.3 million acres of public hunting land. Um, while 97% of Oklahoma is privately privately owned, but we do have lots of public hunting opportunities in Oklahoma. And, and I should also mention that many different states are looking at us, you know, because because we all talk to each other, and they're they're looking at the few states who are 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 ticking up or staying steady. You know, there's three or four different states. They're looking at us and saying, what's, what's going on in Oklahoma? What are you doing differently than, than a neighboring state who, whose population is going down? And one of the things we're really working hard on is providing maximum access, providing maximum opportunity, so making hunting seasons and bag limits as expansive as we can. Our general philosophy is we want to have as much opportunity for hunters and anglers as possible until it starts to hurt the resource.